Hi, Andrugas. I'm a breast and general surgeon. I've been in practice for 21 years. I practice with the Presence Medical Group in the Presence New Lenox Healing Arts Pavilion. Today, I'm going to talk about breast cancer. Of course, everybody knows that this is a very serious health problem, but let me put it a little bit in perspective for you. This year alone, worldwide, we expect about one million people to be diagnosed with breast cancer. One out of every eight women in this country will be diagnosed at some time during their lifetime. About 230,000 people in the United States. I want you to realize that this is not just a disease that affects women. Men get breast cancer too. It's not as common in men, we see it much less common, about 100 times less common, but we do expect about 2,300 men to be diagnosed in the U.S. this year. Of those, 400 will die from this disease. This translates into a lifetime risk for men of about one in a thousand. We haven't seen a lot of progress in the past 20 years regarding determining what causes breast cancer but we have made tremendous advancements in how it's treated and we've gained extensive knowledge and understanding about the biology of this disease. Today, the treatments are a lot easier for the patient to go through than they used to be. The chemotherapy drugs are less toxic, there's less side effects, the radiation treatments are much more precise, we don't um, have as many side effects from the radiation. The um, surgical side of it has changed dramatically in my career. When I started 20 something years ago, the norm was that every patient had a mastectomy. That means removing the entire breast. Today, most people can be treated with breast conserving operations. For me, it's pretty exciting to be part of a cancer treatment team that can study the tumors at a molecular level and we can design treatments customary for each patient. It's no longer this cookie cutter, one size fits all cancer treatment. So since we can't really prevent cancer today, what we can and I think what we should focus on is early detection. Early detection is the key to cure. One of the best tools we have for early detection is screening mammography. There is no question that screening mammograms save lives. We have seen a 30% reduction in deaths due to breast cancer in the past 30 years or so, and this is largely due to the fact that people are getting screened. We do recommend that women start to get screening mammograms at age 40 and every year thereafter. Okay. On the treatment end, we promote a multidisciplinary team approach. It's this collaboration and combination of expertise that can really influence a patient's outcome. We don't just treat the cancer anymore, we treat the whole patient from the minute they're diagnosed, through the treatment, through the survivorship, and beyond that. The team is pretty large for this. Uh, we start with our excellent primary care physicians, we have radiologists that use state-of-the-art equipment. They can do all kinds of minimally invasive biopsy techniques. We have expert university level pathologists. Our medical and radiation oncologists can use cutting edge treatments today. They can enroll patients in treatment protocols that were once available only at major university hospital settings. Surgical techniques have advanced greatly. We have reconstructive techniques. We can reconstruct almost any patient who's had a mastectomy. And ancillary services are also a big part of this. Uh, physical therapists now specialize in exercise instruction and lymphedema management. We have nutritional support, spiritual support, survivorship groups, pain management techniques, and not to forget specialty boutiques that cater to small things in life that we often take for granted that can make a big difference in a patient's life. This is university level care brought to the community level. One last thought I have is that if you, your loved one, a friend gets diagnosed with breast cancer, I want you to remember 
that there are many, many treatments available today and the prognosis today is much, much better than it's ever been in the past. Thank you.